Hey y'all, it's Farmer Mima, and today is day 11 of Fall Food Month. And you guys, um, let me tell you, if you are new to my channel, um, I am I am a hot mess, and I am a hot mess because I actually have really bad ADHD. And so, you know what happens when you've been doing recipes? Like, I shoot these recipes like every day and edit them and post them every day. So that's why some of them come out earlier and some of them come out later. If it's something I'm making for supper, I'm not through editing. I mean, I'm not through filming it until supper time. And so then I have to edit it and then post it. And so, um, yeah, it's because I'm doing that every day. Oh my word, y'all, the sun came out. It's hot. Um, so from doing that every day and you guys, so editing, if you've been with me for a while, you know that editing is one of those things that caused me a lot of anxiety because it can be kind of tedious. It's not something that I enjoy hyper-focusing on. And so for a long time, I did different kinds of videos that I could just clip, do one clip and be done because the editing process was just so hard for me. Well, I'm getting over that. I am, I'm doing it anyway. I'm pushing through and I'm proud of myself for that. But um, what happens when I've been doing that every day for the last 11 days is that my house is falling apart, y'all. My kitchen, talk about hot mess. My kitchen is a hot mess. And um, where I'm going today, y'all, I'm, I'm, this is what people with ADHD do. So if you know someone who does stuff like this, they might, they might have it. Um, so I've decided instead of just cleaning up my house because I am, but I, I want to clean up my kitchen, but I decided I'm going to make a coffee bar. And so that's what this video hopefully will be about. Um, I'm going to make a fall inspired coffee bar. Um, and I'm also going to do a quick little, um, backsplash DIY. Not, it's not a DIY. A Dollar Tree hack, I guess, is really the better name for it. Anyway, and so I'm going to be doing that and creating my coffee bar in front of this little area. Uh, and then maybe, because you know, I've got so many ideas, this ADHD thing, y'all, by the way. Um, I've got so many ideas, and I'm really excited about um, doing little vignettes or little special spaces um, in my kitchen for different purposes besides a coffee bar um and so and i also want to decorate for fall because you know fall that's what this whole month is about and so I've, i'm going to dollar tree now and i'm i'm thinking they're probably already set up for christmas and they're out of the fall stuff um but there are some other things that are non-seasonal that they should have all the time that i am going to look for and hopefully get um, that is going to help me with my little fall thing. And I'll probably get some Christmas stuff while I'm there. Because I'm sure they're going to have Christmas stuff out and about. And maybe it's not as picked over. Since it's not even, you know, Thanksgiving yet. So, or Halloween yet for that matter. So anyway, I will show you. So this may be, do y'all want to see? Would you like to see what I get at Dollar Tree in this video? Um, depending on what I find and what I get. Um, I will show you. Oh my heavens to Betsy, y'all. This is just going to be a haul video. There is no way I can make this video decently short and do everything that I plan to do. But I have to show you what I got. I ended up going to two different Dollar Trees and Hobby Lobby. And then I realized, oh, I forgot to go to Dollar General. So I went back to Dollar General and oh my goodness, y'all. They had some lovely things that I want to share with you. But first, let me show you. Now, some of these things are going to be fallish. Some are going to be Christmas. Some are just going to be kind of DIY project supplies. And so, let's start with, with the most boring, obviously. And that's going to be... I got paint. Because some of these projects are going to require paint. I didn't want a bright orange pumpkin, but I think I, if I blend these two colors together... And then I've got some white things that I need to do that I may not want to stay forever. And so I got washable paint. So let, there's that. 
And then I got this, which is part of a project. This I thought was super cute. This is probably going to go somewhere on my coffee bar. Um, it is it is a little box. You can do it this way or upright. And it this opens. And so I thought that was super cute. Um, and so that will probably be on my coffee bar. And then you guys, oh, they and they have a little stand so they can they can like stand up. They're little chalkboards, and I just thought these were darling and will definitely be perfect um, in front of my coffee bar or somewhere on my coffee bar and in one of my other bars because, you know, I'm, I'm going to have more than just a coffee bar. I'm actually going to have little vignettes in other places in my kitchen as well, and I'll show you that maybe whenever I do the coffee bar, but not today. Okay. And then I saw these. I love using things for things that they weren't meant to be used for. And these are like mats. These these are just like placemats, right? This one obviously says blessed. I mean, this can totally be like a wall hanging or something or stick it somewhere. And this one says always stay humble and kind. And y'all see what color it is. That's my color. Y'all know my color. If you don't, you're gonna, by the time this is over with, you'll have an idea of my color. Um, so there is this, you guys. This is a full pound of pink Himalayan salt. It is a product of Pakistan. I checked, um, and that's where you want it to be from um, because that's where the salt mines are, um, the Himalayan salt mines, for a dollar, Dollar Tree. I remember when pink salt was expensive. I don't know if it's just because the craze isn't as crazy for it as much as it used to be a couple of years back, but yeah. The, I almost bought all of them, y'all, but I have zero need for pink salt because I've got a ton of it. But I wanted to show you for a dollar. Check out your Dollar Tree. Okay. Also at Dollar Tree, of course, oh, the little tags that you can write on with chalkboard paint. I got those. I got this for my granddaughter who loves pandas and it says it's so good to be home. Um, that is for her. Um, and it has special meaning. I'm not going to get into a long story, but yeah. This was the only Christmas thing that I got at Dollar Tree, but I wanted to get it because I thought it was so cute. And I'm not about to wait until closer to Christmas because it's not going to be there. Uh, this is Santa's Naughty or Nice list. And it looks like a book. It is so cute. And then you open it in this little compartment. <sighs> thought that was super cute. And so I got that. Let's see if that is all of that. All of that. Okay. And now, and now... And now let me move this over, y'all. Okay. Now things are starting to get a little mixed up. Oh, okay. Here's more. And then I got these. You know, these will just be perfect for so many things, but I don't know what yet. Um, but I'll probably, I can see them being used somewhere along the coffee bar, but I'm not sure yet. But if not, I mean, oh my gosh, super cute for lots of things. All right. And then I got this little tray, and all of these things are raw wood. They can be painted whatever color you like. Um, and, and the funny thing is, I was seeing all of these, I was watching videos about coffee bars, y'all, because that's my current hyper-focus obsession. Um, and it was uh, everything, like a lot of them used a lot of white stuff, so it was interchangeable, because you can use white, you know, in whatever season or holiday or whatever. And I'm like, I tried. I tried to get white, but it's like, why get white when you get, can get this vibrant pop of color? I have seen these in at least two videos, and so cute. It's a little storage container that you put stuff in, and then it's got a lid, and and the, it's empty all the way to the bottom. It actually, it holds stuff, the whole volume. And um, so if you have like cookies or candy or whatever for any holiday, but I was just like, um, I can use this anytime because this color goes with Easter. It goes with Thanksgiving. You just wait. It'll go with Thanksgiving. It, it goes with Christmas cause you know, just you'll see. Um, and so I can use this anytime. So I got this color. They had a bright blue, like the color of my living room, like that aqua blue, but it just seemed too harsh. Um, and while I love that color, I thought this one would go better. And see, I mean, it, it, 
it goes with that that one placemat too okay and then you guys this is Hobby Lobby this is another find from Hobby Lobby oh my goodness gracious that's my color y'all I mean why get a white pumpkin when you can get this color so yeah I love this color love 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 and so I had to have this but look but wait there's more um I found this at Hobby Lobby which is why now not only do I have to do my coffee bar but I also have to redo my kitchen table because my kitchen table is what's a hot mess just like me um, but it needs a tablecloth and you guys see you have this tablecloth and this honey you see the colors these these are my fall colors and so I fell in love with this. I had to have it. So yeah, I rarely buy top coffee, not coffee table, tablecloths, but I had to have that one. Okay. And so while I was at Hobby Lobby, I'm also obsessed. Not only am I obsessed with that color, I'm also obsessed with gingerbread, anything gingerbread at all, any. Like if, if there was, I don't do Halloween, but if there was a gingerbread Halloween mansion, I'd buy it. Um, just and I'd probably still put it up at Christmas because I don't do Halloween. But anyway, I mean, is he not the cutest gingerbread men, gingerbread houses? I have, you know, just all kinds of like I have kind of a gingerbread village um, that I put up at Christmas time. I have a gingerbread camper. Love gingerbread. Oh, did I mention I love gingerbread? <laughs> I'm not so cute. I love gingerbread ornaments and um, gingerbread villages. Anything, anything, anything gingerbread. In case I didn't mention it. Oh, and here are more things. Dum -dum -dum, more things that I got at um, Dollar Tree. So obviously everything's a dollar. I got these little spoons. I used these one time um, for my, I think it was my daughter's wedding shower. And it was, they were so cute and so perfect to like eat your little dessert. Cause I went in a little dessert and little miniature. It was like a cream cheese dessert. Um, with cherries on top or cherry populating on top in a, those little miniature uh, what do you call it red solo cups the little miniature ones with those little spoons in it to eat it was so cute but anyway so I got these had two of these and uh, or they had more and they had tall ones and then they had fat ones I got the fat ones because I thought that's the ones I could use um, and so these came from the dollar store so they were a dollar our dollar Dollar Tree, sorry, Dollar Tree. Um, our Dollar Trees here locally still have everything is one dollar, um, unless it's less than a dollar, like poster board and things like that. Um, in Abilene, when I went to that Dollar Tree, they had like the five dollar section and three three dollar section. They had things that cost more than a dollar, and even if they had been a good deal, I don't think I could have bought them just because Dollar Tree is supposed to be a dollar. That's just me though. Okay, and so this is also from Hobby Lobby. Sorry, these are all mixed up, y'all. It's another ornament. Oh my goodness. Can I tell you? Let me get my face out so you can see. Can you see that? Um, I love precious moments when my adult children, who are like 26 and 27, when they were little, I used to get precious moment ornaments every year one for each of them and I now they're just they're old and a lot of them have like broken pieces and um, but whenever I saw this one was Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus and the donkey I had to have it did, did y'all see what's it called the star was it called the star um and it's the nativity story told by the donkey i highly recommend it it was adorable i'm totally skipping just thanksgiving spirit and going straight to christmas spirit today um but anyway and so this was the, another one from the dollar tree you guys this is this is really nice it's peace joy and love there are little tin cutouts if you have i mean you can put them on anything you know just like whatever i'll show i'll, I'll open it now that i have it at my house and it's mine so I can open it um they got a little bent on the way home but that's all right um let me show you let me show you like peace let me put it up here peace do you see it can you see it better there 
has peace and joy. Did I say love? Did I say love? Peace. Hang on, y'all. Peace, joy, believe. I said peace, joy, love, didn't I? No, believe. This is like one of my favorite words, y'all. Believe. Believe is, is a great word. <laughs> so anyway, I have that. And then I have, I got these. And these are going to be part of a project that, you know, you know how you make the little, this is like cattywampus though, isn't it? It's a little, actually a little artistic from, it's warped. But that's okay. That's probably why it's at the Dollar Tree and not some other more expensive place. But yeah, I'm going to hopefully make some kind of little tray stand thing with these um, in a DIY that I might show you. Whoop, that I might show you. Okay. So now, oh, one more, y'all. One more from Hobby Lobby. It's my colors. I love these colors. And y'all, squirrel. <laughs> I had to have it. Is that not? Let me get my face out of the way so it doesn't focus on me. Focus. Mm -mm. Can y'all see? Have the hardest time getting it to look at squirrel. Is that not cute? And like I said, I had to have it. It's carrying a nut. So, and it's, like I said, those colors. Those are my colors, y'all. All right, now, I got home and I was like, I forgot to go to Dollar General. And so, I went back to Dollar General, y'all. Oh, my. And, oh, my. And I saw a lady named Sheila. Hey, Sheila. I saw a lady named Sheila that actually grew up next door to. We were next door neighbors when I was a kid. And, uh, <laughs> I was, I was, she just, she just said something about, um, wanting to get home and make those cookies that I made, the breakfast cookies. And you know me, I'm just like chatter. And so I was like, oh, I had to tell her all about all the places I'd been today looking for pumpkins. And she was like, yeah, we've got everything but pumpkins. Um, but they had a lot of good stuff. And I did find pumpkins. And I'm really excited about this, y'all. I'm going to, again, I've got it home. I can open it now. If, if I can open it. I'm going to take the paper off anyway. Ah! Okay. Let's see if I can tear it without tear. Okay, there we go. So this is a table runner. A wonder. And I don't know if it's going to, let's, let's compare. Let's see. Will it go? It, it might go well enough. Well enough. We'll see. We shall see. And if not, I can actually use this. Look at this. Is this not a Dorbs? Okay. So, it, on each end, see it's like plain in the middle where you're going to set all your stuff. You don't want to cover up your decorations. And then on each end, it says, Farmer's Market Pumpkin Picking Hay Rides Corn Maze. Is that not adorable? And y'all know, right up there at the top, oh, I don't have it here, right at the, right up there with, um, with gingerbread are all of the, the old farm, whoops, I'm not, are the old farm trucks. I love those trucks. It reminds me of my dad. My dad has a truck like this. I've taken pictures of my daughter, like my daughter's maternity pictures first, her first baby. Um, I took pictures um, at my dad's truck. It's gorgeous. So anyway, and so then I found pumpkins. I got napkins and I got these plates, y'all. Are they not adorable? I am in love. And they were only a dollar. They're not just, these are my colors. These are my colors. Okay. Now, let me show you. Shh. Don't, don't tell my husband. I was so excited. I found these things, you guys. So y'all know I've been on the hunt for a well-prized <laughs> Coffee mug. You know, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with coffee. I love my coffee. And my coffee mugs right now are not even mine. Like, I have my husband's coffee mug that says his. We had a set that said his and hers. And I broke the one that said hers. Um, and then I have another one that was my son's. He got a like a gift packet, like a hot cocoa gift box that had a coffee mug. And I use it. So, it's like I don't have my own. And all of my other mugs are like too small. And this, this is a good shape. Or, and good, it's like, I like the roundedness of it. I, I will tell you, this, this, I do not like this shape of a mug. Like even if it's a big giant mug, maybe if it's a big giant mug. But mostly, generally, I don't like this shape. I like, I, I like this shape. I like curved. Um, see like this one? I like this one because it's curved. It has to have some kind of shape to it. And you guys, I found this. 
and it's my color. And so, I, and it was only three dollars. Okay, three dollars. Most of them this size, at least five dollars, and usually much more than that. So I got this, and then the next find I got was a dollar fifty. And you guys, I don't. I know y'all don't know what color I like yet, but you know, it was only a dollar fifty. Like dollar fifty. That was it for this. And they had they had pink ones and a greenish, like a grass greenish colored one and a gold one. And I was and look, okay, it, if you notice this shape, can you see this shape? You see, it's it's a honeybee latticey. And look. And do you see if you I don't know that here maybe if I no, you may just have to take my word for it like that is the shape of a honeybee right there okay and so I'm just like I need this in my life I need this you know so I got it it was a dollar fifty I got it and the last two things that I got you guys it's only two dollars and that was full price regular price two dollars I know these colors y'all it's crazy <laughs> one of them is striped they're they're like the same size and shape one of them is striped one of them is pokey dotted and I cannot wait <laughs> to use these but I might have to hide them from my husband <laughs> so anyway that is that is my haul and I am so stinking excited and so now I'm going to let you go so that I can clean all the surfaces and do the DIY projects that need to be done and figure out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to make this little coffee bar that that is coming up. Hopefully good Lord willing and the creeks don't rise it'll be up tomorrow but this one you'll see today which is today when you're watching it. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye y'all.